So thank you, thank you very much uh, for your very, very nice introduction. I hope that everybody is seeing my screen at this time. Uh, and as uh, Christian uh, mentioned, I'm going to be talking about fuzzy systems in, in healthcare. Uh, so for that, uh, I'm going to start by making a very, I hope, very short introduction of, um, of the team that has been working with me uh, in particular and more in particular in this type of topic. So with fuzzy systems applied um, to healthcare. Uh, so we call ourselves the IAS for the group, so intelligent systems for um, different areas of research, in one of them being healthcare. Uh, and we have um, some former PhD students that already left the group but have been involved in this research. And uh, so uh, they are still included here in this uh, research team. In healthcare, we have been collaborating uh, internationally and nationally. Nationally, with um, Hospital Egas Muniz and Grupo Luz Saúd, uh, where they have different hospitals, such as Beatriz, Hospital Beatriz Angel, Hospital uh, de Luz. Uh, in the Netherlands, with the group, uh, healthcare group of Professor Uzai Kaimak. Uh, and at MIT, uh, with the Beth Israel um, Hospital uh, and the MIT Critical Care Group that is led by the Dr. Leo Celli and the EDSS Group that the, um, Professor Stan Finkel Finkelson is part of and has uh, collaborated uh, with us. So uh, we have been actually collaborating since 2010 in this research topic. So since then, we have um, been addressing different, uh, different topics. So we started with the idea of redesigning uh, the, or just improve the, uh, the, the survival of the critical ill patients. And for that, we would be using data and database modeling. Uh, we have been developing uh, also some decision support systems for preventing IC readmissions. Uh, more recently, uh, still focusing on decision support systems, we have been targeting different uh, applications such, such as acute kidney injury, a prediction, vasopressors prediction, uh, target uh, blood pressure, 